My name is Cindy Avitia. I'm here representing the Office of Congresswoman Zoe Lofgren. Uh, as many of you know, the Congresswoman is chair of the Immigration Subcommittee uh, for the U.S. House of Representatives. Uh, this issue, though, is actually very personally important to me as well, uh, like Albert, and uh, especially because my one-year-old daughter, and my husband may disagree, but I am positive that on her recent first birthday, before she blew out that candle, she said, comprehensive immigration reform in 2010. <laughs> so I... <laughs> So as an indulgent mother, I'm working towards comprehensive immigration reform for 2010 for that little girl and for the many, many children uh, here and, and in this country. I want to really thank you for inviting our office to be a part of this event. Unfortunately, the Congresswoman couldn't be here. Congress did meet today, had votes. Uh, she was trying to get here in time. She's actually somewhere between San Francisco Airport and San Jose at this moment. Uh, but she did... Uh, want me to say a few words on her behalf and I'm going to convey those to you. Uh, she said she very much wished she could be here, um, but asked me to convey her really deep gratitude and appreciation for all the hard work that PACT has been doing on this issue, advocating for comprehensive immigration reform. She asked me to tell you that it is extremely important that Congress continue to hear your voices. We must all continue to tell the stories of the 65,000 undocumented children that graduate from high school each year, full of excitement, full of hope for their futures, only to learn that without their papers, their careers, and their futures are completely uncertain. We must tell the stories of the thousands of children who go to bed each night without their parents or with the fear that they will lose their parents, their hardworking mothers and fathers at any time. We must also tell the story of their hardworking parents. We need to continue raising our voices against an immigration detention system with such deficient standards that it endangers the lives of those in detention and even causes the death of individuals such as Francisco Castañeda, who discovered after 10 months of waitings, after five doctors seeing him, that cancer had spread all over his body. In the face of stagnation on this issue, in the face of misinformation and manipulation of this issue, it is our voices that must be heard. And Congresswoman Lofgren reminded me that we must work even harder now and more strategically because it is a difficult time in Congress for any legislation, not just comprehensive immigration reform. So this evening, I want to thank you for all of your work. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going louder and stronger, smarter, until the day we have comprehensive immigration reform. Thank you so much.